We started this broadcast from West Asia. At least four Israeli soldiers were killed and 60 people were wounded when a Hezbollah drone struck the IDF's Golani base near Benyamina in north-central Israel on Sunday night. The drone struck at 7 in the evening and hit the dining hall located inside the base. IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari said that the drone did not trigger any warning sirens. He also added that UAV's base parameter breach is being investigated was difficult and painful. The comments indicate that the drone attack took the IDF by surprise. However, this is not the first of its kind of an attack as it was learned that the drones involved in the attack were modified Mirsad 1 drones based on the Iranian Ababil T UAV platform. The Mirsad-1 multipurpose drone is capable of carrying up to 40 kilograms of explosives, has a top speed of 370 kilometers per hour and an operational range of 120 kilometers. Primarily meant for reconnaissance, the Mirsad drone can be modified into a kamikaze or loitering munition drone, allowing it to launch 55 MMS-5 unguided rockets. Having low flying capabilities, Hezbollah often launches these drones accompanied with rocket fire to penetrate the Iron Dome. The drone first launched into Israeli airspace in the year 2004 has made notable incursions in November of 2004 and December of 2005. Now correspondent Jody Cohen has a report on this from Ranana. Right, so Hezbollah fired two suicide drones. One was intercepted by Haifa, which is Israel's third largest city, but one hit a military base near Binyamina and four soldiers were killed and 60 injured. Now, the Iranian-backed Hezbollah has said that they would increase their attacks if the fighting continues. And on Monday morning, we've seen further rockets and sirens going off in Haifa and the surrounding areas. IDF Chief Herzi Halevi has visited the uh, site that was hit. He spoke to the soldiers there saying that the attack was serious and that they would continue with their training and that Israel would continue fighting and preparing for upcoming battles. Israel is likely to respond by continuing to target Hezbollah terrorists and infrastructure and commentators expect that Israel would aim to weaken Hezbollah further before responding to Iran's attack on Israel which we saw earlier this month. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.